This is a Joby Gorilla Pod, and you may have seen these if you've watched a lot of YouTube. Every YouTuber seems to have one, and it goes underneath the camera, and it helps when vlogging, be able to put your camera down, or anything where you just want to kind of go hands-free or hold your camera better. I just seem to have a love-hate relationship. They're so useful, they're really handy. I use it for more than just YouTube, I use it for my speed light when I'm shooting weddings, and I just want to use off-camera flash. The thing is, not only do they, you know, look a little weird, they just seem to break so easily. The reason they break is because they get little splits inside the little, what do you call them, nodules? I don't know. And over time, it just gets weaker and weaker, and there's been times where my camera has just, just, just fell. And when you're using an expensive camera, you don't want to be doing that. You don't want your camera to be drooping off to one side or anything like that. So I thought it is time for an upgrade. And that's where this nice little package comes into play. Now this is quite ironic because I need to use a gorilla pod to uh, open open what I've had delivered, which is the replacement. It's probably gonna like I don't know. It knows that I'm gonna abandon it very very soon. This is the PGY Tech Mantis Pod Pro. You may have seen other YouTubers using this. I saw Peter Lindgren with it originally, and then Matty Apoya, and more recently, Peter McKinnon. And at first I wasn't a massive fan. I thought, mm, maybe it's not for me. The reason I wasn't so sure is because when you're outside, nothing is ever flat. And if you're using a tripod and you want it to be stable, you have to shorten or lengthen a leg to make it as level as possible. And that's one thing I really liked about the Joby Gorilla Pod. Not because the balls actually just snapped off whenever I didn't want them to, but the fact that you could bend the legs around to actually fit the terrain that you're using the camera on and that you're sitting the camera on. But the one thing I did like about this is the Arca Swiss mounting plate, which it comes with, that you can get with the Joby if you wish, but this comes with it as standard. And that'll work with my Peak Design Capture. Unlike, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my Joby, but I'm, I'm using it. Uh. I'll show you later. And it just looks and feels really, really stable and better and better made than a Gorilla Pod. So the first thing I've noticed about the Mantis Pod Pro is I was slightly wrong with the base plate situation. So this is the base plate from the Mantis Pod Pro, and at first glance it looks identical to the one which I got with the Peak Design Capture, so therefore you'd think that you could use it with this. The issue I had straight away was it does kind of fit into it, but it doesn't lock into place, so you could hold your camera there, but if you were to jump around or run about or whatever, you do run the risk of your camera just hopping out of the clip, and. You don't really want that when you're using an expensive camera or any camera for that matter. So that's one thing which is really annoying about the Mantis Pod Pro, but on the other hand, you can use the Peak Design Capture Clip base plate or whatever it's called with the Mantis Pod Pro, and that's what I'm using right now because it's better for the system that I use because I like to use this when I'm out and about and don't want to use my camera. Don't get me wrong, it's not a massive thing, but it would be really nice to have. For some reason, all these different manufacturers come out with the same kind of design, but it's just ever so slightly different every single time, so they're not universal. You could use it on your hip. I'm gonna get all these shots as well, like, as B-roll, so, so it's, when this is crap, I can overlay that kind of Danny voice. It's my boy Sam Holland. Hey. Here he is, though. I've got. So we've got the Polar Po, We've got the Polar Pro shoulder rig, it's called the Pivot, and I'm loving this thing at the moment, it's my new favourite thing. I say that a lot on my channel, if you've ever seen anything. But yeah, every, every new piece of gear seems to be my new favourite thing, but it is. And if you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link just up here or down here to watch after the video. He's made me go away now, because he doesn't like to talk in front of people. The second thing I like, but also don't like, is the cold shoe mount on the Mantis Pod Pro. The one on the side you can rotate, which is really, really nice because when you're in situations where you want to show the viewer something, so let's say this rock, for instance. I know it's not quite as exciting as, you know, something else. But when I show you the rock, normally the microphone is pointing forward, so you would only hear me when the camera is facing me. But because I can spin it round, it only takes a split second to just move it around so I could talk like this. 
and as you can tell straight away that my voice is a lot clearer but normally I have the microphone on top of the camera so therefore you have to undo the actual microphone spin it around and it only takes 10 seconds but 10 seconds every few minutes gets really really time consuming so I don't know whether that's the intended purpose but the byproduct of it being like that is amazing and really really convenient but one thing I don't like about the design is that when I move the actual Mantis Pod Pro like you can pivot it backwards and forwards the cold shoe stays in the same position so you have to move one thing and then the other and reposition everything every single time it's not a massive deal breaker none of these problems are deal breakers in my eyes but it would just be really nice if that was thought about so as you move the camera the cold shoe could move with it it was in a fixed position almost but you had the option to twist it if you want to i don't actually know whether that's mechanically possible but you can dream look how small it packs up into put that in your camera bag you like it? I love it, man. Isn't it nice coming out with other YouTubers and just sharing ideas and having to go through notes with him for endless, endless hours? Yeah. Are you ready for B-roll now? I'm ready, mate. Yeah, I'm ready. You. One thing I really do like is the ease of using it. I've already mentioned the Joby Gorilla card and the things I didn't really like about it. And something I really didn't like is the fact that you had to like maneuver it about and just putting it out as a tripod took, you know, five, six, seven seconds. And just the repetitiveness and then you gotta move the ball head and just became a bit of a nightmare. But the ease with this is, it just takes a few seconds. For instance, you start with this and you can literally do it with one hand just about done like how simple was that like one hand you couldn't do that with a gorilla pod just the fact that you can put your camera down now with ease you ain't got to put it on the side and damage the jack cable the screen the lens any of that it's just making life so much easier for videographers and vloggers and creators the whole thing is just really really easy to use you can make really fast adjustments and everything's really secure for instance it's got hot shoes on it but each hot shoe has a little safety clip so even if you unscrew it by accident it isn't going to fall out your camera isn't going to fall off your microphone isn't going to fall off and having that security when you're using expensive gear is thank you pg Tech. Admittedly, I'm not ever going to be able to put the camera up here anymore like you could with the, the Gorilla Pod. And that's because it had really bendy legs. But the byproduct of having really bendy legs is that it wasn't very stable, things used to break on it, and I would sooner give up the practicality of being able to use a tree to be able to put my camera on and the bendy legs over making sure that my camera doesn't fall, hit the floor and, and break overall. PGY Tech seems to have thought of most things when it comes to this product. For instance, this version comes with a phone mount built into the leg, so you're never actually gonna lose it. You're not gonna go somewhere and think, damn, I can't do the vlog today because I've lost it. Or is it at home? Is it in the bag? Is it in the car? It's always gonna be part of this tripod setup. been a few days since the last part of the video and uh, yeah this eye isn't looking too good <sighs> shot a wedding yesterday in fact and it was the worst thing in the world to only be able to see really out of one eye my balance wasn't great my social awareness wasn't great it's hard to only see out of one eye or mainly only see out of one eye so back to the actual job in hand the PGY Tech Mantis Pod Pro is amazing it's so much better than what i had previously and i even used it yesterday at the wedding to hold my flash to do some off camera flash one thing i didn't realize until yesterday is that the actual cold shoe mount which the camera is attached to isn't a true cold shoe mount it looks like a cold shoe mount but you can't actually take something like your flash and attach it to it it has to go onto the side where you will put the microphone and then because you have no camera on top of the mantis pod pro when you're using a flash on the side then you have no counterweight and it does seem to want to tip over. But overall, with its intended use of being a vlogging tripod, it is thoroughly amazing. I've really, really enjoyed using it. Compare it to this, which is the Joby Gorilla Pod. This I will never use again. Obviously, in this situation, the Mantis Pod Pro is good for me, but it may not be good for you, and there's plenty of other alternatives out there. If you want to pick yourself up a Mantis Pod Pro, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. Thank you very much for joining me. If you've got any questions about this or anything else I do on the channel, let me know down in the comment section below. If you want to see more content like this, then hit the subscribe button and the bell for all your notifications. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.